welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna be showing you how to use a little app called fire alpaca now this is actually free to download you can search this in your Google store your Microsoft store um, and it'll it's free to download free to use all their features what's really cool about this app is you can really use it for just graphic design work any kind of design work that you need to make any kind of animations or anything any covers I actually use it for a book cover I'm in the process of making a children's book so it's a really great you know tool app for me to really just get creative making my children book designs so the first off is you're gonna to come to a screen like this it's gonna have some menus up here the main menus the sub menus and the side menus what's really cool is if you hover over all of these tools over here it kind of shows you down below right here what the tool actually is so you don't have to guess um, you have the eyedropper divide tool and you have your like your basic things like your bucket tool and just your moving eraser and um, your pencil here which is kind of what I'm on right now the main feature Another thing you have is this little sub side menu over here where we'll just get into how that actually comes in handy as well. But first, let's go ahead and get our page up right here. So what you're going to do is go ahead and go up here to the file menu. You're going to go to new. It's going to pop up this little screen here. All right, so you're brought to a sheet of paper just like this. Um, what you're going to do is come over here to select your colors this is going to be the main color you're using right now which is let me see here black and then you have this sub color right here where you could pick anything let's just go ahead and pick blue and you can just transform back and forth in between the two so you can just have that on hand all right so let's go ahead and erase that another good thing about this little side thing over here is actually i just keep controlling the brush strokes over here so anything you push along these lines will have how big or small do you want them so you can have it really thin you can have it really thick um, of course that's gonna matter if you want it thin can't really see it so just depends on your preference it actually comes in handy so if you're making like you know a big picture background and you want the grass down here or something and you want the sky to be blue you can just go ahead and do that and it saves you a little bit of time on your artwork and then if you want to go ahead and just draw something with the character you can draw no problem alrighty so we are going to go ahead and undo all of that which is this little handy button up here. So you could actually undo, redo if you'd like. So if you didn't like this, you just deleted something, just put that right back on the page. But I'm just gonna undo it for these purposes. So let's see here. Now that we figured that out, let me just go ahead and put this up to the highest that it can go. Actually, it looks like it could still go up more. Oh, wow. That is actually crazy. Look guys, we actually learned something new. All right, so let's just go ahead and do that. Down below, what we have is gonna be a bunch of different brushes that you can use. Of course, we've been using the pen, the pen, but you can use like the pencil as well. I don't really see the difference in the pen or the pencil, but I mean, that's it's not anything to just you know dwell on. But you do have some really cool brushes down here. You have your edge pen, you have your airbrushes, which everyone knows about the airbrushes. You can airbrush, let me just go on here. And just be careful that you're not on a racer, because if you're on a racer and you're trying to pick, it's not gonna let you do anything. So just make sure you come right back up here to your pencil so that you can use those tools so let's just go ahead and do this you have two different airbrushes you see one's a little bit dimmer than the other you have your watercolor which doesn't look too much different um, you have a blur 
I don't, I don't really, I don't, I don't really use the blur, so I don't really too much care about it. Um, let's see here. Oh, you have a smudge pen. All of this stuff is actually really cool. So you can actually just smudge this art. So if you had some really cool like water, water work, watercolors that you did, let's just do some watercolor here. And this actually makes it look like an actual watercolor picture that you just did, which is like really, really cool. So if, let me just do this really quick. Looks really cool, like actual watercolor. So if you are wanting to smudge this, you can smudge this by just taking this tool and just doing this. And you have some really, really cool designs here which is actually a pretty good tool. So if you're making like, you know, just like um, water or anything that makes the water look really, really, really cool. Um, let's see here. And this blur tool, it just kind of makes the design a little blurry, which I don't really too much like, but they also have some cool designs that are built into their own system, their Fire Alpaca designs here. Let me just erase this from the screen a little bit. This little fire alpaca thing around here, which is actually the app's own designs. So they kind of built this in here as their own little app tool, two different alpacas. And I actually think they have a third one. Let me see. Ah, here it is, Fire Alpaca 3. This one's actually my favorite because it actually shows the alpacas and it's actually a really cool um, thing. I've never really used it because I, I mean, it's I've never used Fire Alpaca's um, artwork for my designs. I mean, maybe one of these days I'll figure out something to do with it. Um, but for now, um, let's just get back to here. They do have some flat brushes that you can use, just flat, makes marks, um, particles, if you wanted particles. They actually have some really cool ones, flowers. They have a bunch of different flowers. Um, leaves, if you wanted leaves, they have two different kind of leaves if you wanted that. They also have stars, and I'm just gonna only do one of these stars because I feel like I've been doing too much here. And they have stems. If you wanted stems, they have a few different kinds. So if you don't know how to draw stems, you can just, you know, do that right on here. Another really cool thing that I love that they have is going to be their, let's see here, symmetry rotate. I love this. And let me just go ahead and just delete all of that off of here so I can show you the symmetry. This one's actually really cool. And we're just going to go ahead and do a really cool color here. All you do is you take it and just drag it and wherever you move the mouse it's actually going to follow the exact design so I'm just gonna move it left here and you see all of them are moving left with me and I can just move it out and I can just make cool designs I love this I can make just any just about anything that I want to and I actually somehow feel like this is how they make those adult coloring books the Symmetry Rotate 2 is actually amazing. You can create so much with this and all I'm doing is just moving my mouse around and it's just creating it for me. And it looks like a really cool piece of artwork that I did and I really just was just moving my mouse around the screen all crazy. This is another one. I haven't really used this one too much. Let me zoom in here and see this. I haven't really used this much but it's good for like patchwork. Um, if you're wanting to use it, um, polka dots, of course, I don't really use this one as much either, but they also have, an, you know, a no name, which no name for a reason, but yeah, those are the simple, just brush strokes, things you can do. Another thing you can do if you're wanting another screen, let's zoom out here, you can actually add 
um, another title up here. So this says untitled. You can actually go up here and push new. And what that's going to do, and we're just going to keep it the same just for sake. Just push OK. It's going to pop up another title. So you can actually switch back to your original. And just so you guys can see this, let's go ahead and just do this on this one so you know. And you can switch back to this one and we'll just go ahead and just do something like this. Something crazy. So you'll see. So you still have this one over here and we have this one over here. You can still keep adding just in case. We're going to go ahead and add in another one here. So you can just keep switching back and forth. Another really cool thing you can use is this bar up here. Um, I don't think I really explained too much of this bar, but I will go into more details. We've kind of already went into this. These are kind of self-explanatory. Um, if you're wanting to know what they are, again, it will just show up down here whenever you do the hover. But this bar up here, um, we kind of had it on off. It starts off on default as off. So you can actually add in whatever you want to the page. And what this is going to do is it's actually going to add lines. So I'm going to go ahead and do parallel snap. And you can see the parallel lines that are actually just, let me zoom in, maybe you can see it, that are forming right here. And if you want it to have this crisscross snap, then of course it will show as a crisscross. Now this is perfect for if you're wanting to um, have everything symmetrical and you're drawing. Push this button up here. It's going to go to off. It automatically has it set to off. And if you actually push these right here, this is going to actually determine how much you want the lines to be. So if you're wanting to draw horizontal lines somewhere onto the page you can actually use this as a guide to help you so if I was wanting to let me just go here draw a line this is going to help me draw this line and as you can see I went off a little bit but that doesn't matter because it's going to stay on the line or go to the nearest line of where you're at so it's going to keep and I can even go this way as you can see and it's not letting me but if I just keep going this way, it'll just keep going. So that's a really cool thing to have. And if you're wanting to have, you know, something that's more in a square shape, this will actually be a pattern to help you do squares. And let's see here. So that's what helps you. Like, you get, if you try to go other ways, it won't let you. It will only let you go in horizontal or upwards so we can go to this pattern here this is the vanishing point so if you're wanting here and you're wanting the vanishing point to be here this is what this this is what it's going to do it's going to help you do your vanishing point um, if you want the circles wherever you want the circles it will help you to pinpoint let's just go ahead and do here and we are going to go ahead and just do circles all around and it all you can just go as fast as you want slow as you want it will not mess up it's still going to be a perfect circle no matter what you can do soft edge to wear whatever you're um on here this is actually really cool look at this and it makes it into like a pencil shape that's actually really cool but I don't necessarily like soft edge, so we're going to take that off. So there you go. This is just a basic tutorial of the overview on how to use Fire Alpaca, which is actually a really good tool to use. Um, another thing that I did forget to mention on here is just the transparency. You can actually use this over here to see how transparent this is going to be and let me just go ahead and demonstrate that really quick 
Let's go ahead and make it huge and let's go make it less transparent. Right here. It's this. Oh, I got my correction on, so it just lags and helps me to really do that. And let's see here. I'm going to make that less transparent. So this is the transparency. Makes it transparent. Alrighty guys, so there you have it. Um, Fire Alpaca is actually a really good thing, tool to use whether you're wanting to edit, graphic design, or just play around with it. Just get in there and kind of just, um, just get a feel for it. Again, I learn new things every single day on this app. Um, of course, we didn't go too much into detail, but if you would like me to go into more detail um, other than just a general overview of Fire Alpaca, uh, just let me know and I will put up a video as well explaining that. But thanks for watching guys. Subscribe below. Let me know what you thought about this video.